Okay, this is going to be a quick one, y'all. This is just going to be uh, dealing with text. Um, the text feature on Premiere to me is not very good, but um, I'll show you kind of what I know about it, and hopefully you can get what you need to out of it. Um, easiest way to just add basic text, like I have here, is to um, you'll see it, they're all pink by default. Um, I have a bunch of like text here, by the way. Uh, the easiest way is to just click the T over here, type tool, or you can just hit the T on your keyboard to switch to it, and then you're just going to click in an empty area on here. So sometimes it helps to have like a black um, black screen here, but um doesn't really matter. We just click somewhere that we're not already clicked to, and we can start typing. Um, man, I'm, I'm bored. That's all I can think of. So, anyway, um, so once we click that, you'll see that basically once we have the T tool selected or the type tool, we can start typing in stuff and we can highlight stuff and delete stuff if we so fit or so choose. And um, if we wanted to change that or move that around, I'd go back to the selection tool because if we were to try to move this, so it's just not going to really work. So go back to the selection tool. You'll be able to move stuff as you uh, see fit. Uh, you can, you know, drag the corners to make them bigger or smaller. If you move your mouse out towards the edges of the corners, you can change the uh, rotation. Um, there should be a way to, like, swap it. Um, actually, I don't know. All right, anyway, I'm going to undo that. So that's pretty much it. Basic, real, real basic stuff. Uh, if you wanted to fade in and out, move your mouse to the end or the beginning of it to, and right click, go to apply default transitions. That's going to fade uh, in. This is going to fade out. That way you can see what we're doing here. I'm going to get rid of this one so you can just see what we put. Very ominous. So just like any transition, you can zoom in and extend or shorten the transition if you want. So if I want it to take a long time to fade in, I can. By default, I think every clip is going to be five seconds. Of course, you can extend that or shorten that depending. If you want to make it go really quickly, we can. Uh, of course, it just you know depends on your preference. Um, Right, so now the other thing is, for instance, like you can see that this one has the, the fonts change. Um, it's also like a little more faded. One thing to note is that like, so if I were to pause this, it looks all clear. And if I were to like play it, it's all blurry. You're like what, what the heck's up with that? So um, Premiere, like I said, it's weird with, with text. If you want to fix that, I can show you, but just know that if we were to say export this, it's not going to look bad. It's going to look um, it's going to look good. It's going to look like it should, I guess is what I mean to say. Uh, and I can explain I can I guess prove that by showing you I'm going to try to like just give you an example of what the no preview of that will look okay, great. Well, I'm just going to try to show you what the preview would be uh, at the end. So just know that it looks a little weird. Uh, that's just that's just what it's going to look like. It doesn't actually look like that when you export it. If you want to fix that, you can. I'm just going to select basically this. I'm going to press I and then I'm going to press O for selecting these in and out points. I'm going to go to sequence. I'm going to render in and out, into out. And it's going to render. It might take a long time. These computers are slow. You, your, y'all's computers are much faster than this, but mine's slow. So, okay, that's slow. Should be better. So it shouldn't look all uh, pixelated or whatever. Now, again, as soon as I get to like say this part, it's gonna look weird again. So the reason for that is because you can see up here there's like a green bar, and then as soon as I get to here, it's yellow. That just means like stuff hasn't been rendered. So that's why it just hasn't been rendered. So it looks a little bit weird. And as soon as like I make an edit to it, it's gonna like kind of mess up again. So. If it bothers you, again, you can go to I and O, depending on what your section is, and you basically make an in and out point. You go to sequence, render into out. 
um, and then right click over here and just go to clear in to out, clear in and out. Um, but again, it doesn't actually change the real uh, clip. Like it could look bad, it's just not rendered. So anyway, that's gonna be for like any effects. We put some like really hardcore effects on this. It's probably gonna be red, not yellow. So just know, just know that it's not really breaking anything. It's just uh, the program hasn't like rendered the effects, so it's not really gonna show up all that great uh, at first, or I guess as you're looking at it. Uh, so anyway, all right, moving on from there. Um, to change the text of something, you can click it, and um, you can go into, uh, you're gonna change it to, uh, click up here to go to workspaces and go to graphics. It might be graphics and captions for you guys, I'm not sure. Um, for me, again, it's a little different, but um, should be just be graphics. And then there's some, there's some like preset graphics here, which are kind of cool. But again, I already have this, so if I wanted to use, say, one of these, I'd have to like drag it in. And then I get like a new one here. So it might look, you know, it might look a little different. Let's see what this would look like. I guess I need to type something in there. Might be too slow for this poor computer. They have like preset uh, graphics, which you could like create your on your own if you wanted, but um, but you wouldn't, you don't necessarily need to. All right, I can't even like handle that, so I'm not even gonna try. It's just too much, too much graphics for this computer. So anyway, I want to show you just real quick that I like change color and how to I guess change font and stuff. So once you click, click on the track, or the, I should say the text, uh, you'll see at the top right, there'll be like browse, which is where we're at, and then you'll go to edit to change like the one that we're working on. Um, so you'll see that there's like kind of multiple text things here. So if I were to click T again and start typing, I could have like another uh, layer of text within this, within this whole section of graphics. So to me that kind of gets complicated. So I'm just gonna, I'd rather just have like one thing. So for instance, I can, should be able to like delete this. Um, you'll see that there's a T with nothing there. I can just hit delete on the keyboard. So just try to avoid those, it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of, it can, for me it's a little annoying, but anyway. So a couple things that are helpful. There's a line and transform over here. This is vertical line, this is horizontal line. So I, I kind of already have this aligned, but if I want to, you know, if I messed up or whatever, I can um, hit vertical and then that's going to move it up. And then I can hit horizontal and that's going to move it to the left there to try to center it. Um, there's some other things here too, of course, you know, align to the top, align to the middle, whatever. Um, these are just like positioning things. You can also change this is the opacity of it, meaning like the, I guess the transparency or how much we're seeing. So obviously if we drop to zero, we're not gonna be able to see it. Styles, uh, I don't know what styles are, so I'm not gonna click that. Um, text is, this is like your typeface or your font. And um, a lot of these, I guess, are gonna be a little funky depending on what we're looking at. So we're not gonna be able to really uh, read that maybe, but um, you can play around with you know whatever typeface you want. Um, there's a lot here. Don't know like what's great. I guess some of these, some of them ones at the top are a little bit easier to see because you can actually see what the sample looks like. So that looks like it's good for like a western or something. I don't even remember the one that I just used, but um, obviously they'll have a different feel depending on what 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 type of film you're working with. Um, you can, I think you can import some too. I can't remember how you add them, like from the internet, but you should be able to. Yeah, I just, I don't know how. These are good enough, I think, for them, for the meantime. So, so yeah, that's how to change things. You can also change the size down here if you don't want to just drag this over. Um, there's also like regular, some of them have like bold. Um, you can like italicize, I think here, you can bold it here, I guess. Um, there's some other stuff. 
But um, yeah, anyway, the, the only other thing that you really need to know is how to change the color. So right now it's set to white. I think all text is set to white. Um, you can change it to say, let's set it to like red or something or yellow, I don't know. And we can see obviously what that would look like. Um, there's stroke, which is basically like the edge of it. So for instance, if we make the stroke say like a blue, and then you can't really see it all that much, but if we if we say like we zoom in, draw like zoom in, and I'm gonna raise make the stroke a little bit bigger. Yeah, okay, now we can definitely see it. But by default the stroke's at like one, which is really tiny. But um oh, that's another stroke. Okay, interesting. So that's that I don't even know where that's like applying it to the inside of it. It's like doing a, a regular Okay. Oh, it's not even regular. See this one. Okay, there we go. So we can see like that's applying it to the out uh, to the outside. So that's that can be helpful depending, you know, on what you're trying to do. Um, you can also apply like a background to it, which is pretty helpful too. If you're trying to do um, I don't know, if you're trying to show it on top of something. Uh, for instance, if I want to show it on top of like if I want to show it on top of say a clip, right? So if I want to move it back to um, don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> um, if I want to move it on top of here, for instance, it's not gonna let me. I'm messing up this whole thing here. It's all right. So I'm gonna move this over here. So obviously, you guys should be able to see kind of what that looks like now. Um, and I can go back and adjust the background kind of as needed if I want it to say like be a red background and then change the opacity of that and then this is like a border I think or this is what is this feathering it maybe rounding it off yeah so you can play around with the background you can play around with the shadow uh, shadows obviously gonna I mean it's gonna be a shadow I don't know what else to say let's make it a red shadow let's see what this looks like so similar to stroke just you know different look um, this can this is the distance of the shadow this is um, I guess this is feathering or the spread I'm not sure what they call it um, I don't know I guess that's like blurring it so I think you can hover over these and see blur size distance angle so yeah feel free to play around with those mask with text I'm not sure okay all right, anyway, um, so that's pretty much everything you need to know for text. Um, if you want to do any animations, you can. That gets a little complicated. I would just recommend using the preset ones because these are all like animated by default. But if you did want to play around with animation, you'd have to go into like the, this thing, vector motion, see effect controls here. And you'll have to like, Play around with here. Play around with this. So, like, if we were to start it, say at like zero, we can we can hit this and we'll start the text at zero, and then say here, we'll bring the text to I don't know 100 or whatever. So that way, it's going to start at zero and then kind of come in. Well, I, that's the tricky part. Though. Well, most people don't know. So anyway, it's really random. It doesn't really fit at all with what we're doing, but it's just an example. Um, you can do the same thing with position. If you just, you know, you say you go to the beginning of the clip, hit hit this little key, um, what is it called? Keyframe, I guess. And then we basically, it's going to be there. And then we can move it, say, at this point in time, we're going to move it to, I don't know, here. So let's see. It should go up and then, Complete should start up and go down. Well, I, that's the tricky part, though. Well, most people... Maybe just, just move it down the whole time. I'm not sure. Am I crazy? Oh. Well, most people... I guess I'm crazy. I don't want to deal with this. Sorry, guys. Um, it's really hard to even click on this stuff right now. But um, anyway, so... Don't worry about that too much. You don't need to know how to keyframe, at least right now, for this stuff. 
so hopefully that's just the basics. Hopefully it helped. Sorry for talking longer than I need to, but um, thanks for watching.